Guest is here from uh, Bisbee, Arizona, where he sells his book and only his book, Me and Henry. This is the book right here in the One Book Bookstore. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome author proprietor Walter Swan. Walter, are you? Have a seat. Any better? Couldn't stand it. Well, <laughs> now tell me about the. Uh, I guess tell me about the book first. This is a book that you put together, your own book. All right. This uh, this book. Uh, well, starts back. I had eight kids, and I had a entertainment evening, so I told them stories. My wife said they're funny. You ought to write them down. Right. For 30 years, I wrote them down, Dave. Yeah. And then uh, she gave them to the kids for Christmas presents. Mm -hmm. Next thing you know, she wanted to get them. Published. And right. Nobody wanted to publish it. It wasn't bad enough, it wasn't sexy enough, and all that other kind of right. good stuff. So you sent them out to all publishers all, all publishers, over the country, yeah. nobody interested. Nobody interested. Yeah. So nobody wanted to publish the book, so they published it. Nobody wanted to sell it. Right. So there's nothing else to do but open up a one book bookstore and start selling it. Really? Now, so I, I guess at some point in that process, others would have been discouraged. Well, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> um, so you published it yourself. That's right. And these are, this is a collection of your recollections right. of your childhood growing up and so on and so forth. All right, so you get the book, mm -hmm. th and then how do you open the bookstore? Open the bookstore? Yeah. All, all I did is just went in there and opened the bookstore. My wife says, you what? can't do no good there. She says, you go broke. Next door to another bookstore. She says, you're nuts. Yeah. And I said, well, we did everything else is nuts, and this ought to be one more. Maybe it'll work. <laughs> yeah, why not? Why not? So, so your bookstore is actually right next to another next bookstore? Next to another bookstore. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Did, did you ever think of maybe asking the existing bookstore if they were interested in selling your book? Oh, yeah, but she, you know what she did? She wanted to sell them below her cost, and I didn't like that. Yeah, yeah. No, I said, no more, no more books. You're going to sell them that cheap. I'll sell them here. Right. Well, what kind of inventory do you have? If I were to walk into your bookstore now, how many copies of this book would be there? Well, I ain't got very many left. I sold them all out. Oh, really? Much. So you're doing pretty well. Yeah, I sold 6,000 copies of it. Uh-huh. You know, this bookstore owner next door, she was, got mad at me first. Yeah. You know, she wouldn't even speak to me. Hmm. And now she smiles at me, and next thing you know, she's waving at me. Say hi, Walt. Every time she goes by, and I've done her more good as I've done me. So, so it's helped business. Oh, it's helped business a lot. You well, bet. And, and I guess the the service is the same in in both stores. Oh yeah. Uh, friendly service. Oh yeah. Uh, helpful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pleasant surroundings. Oh yeah. But yeah. she has more of a variety, maybe. Well, than... some way you call them variety. <laughs> Depends on what, what, you, what variety you like. Yeah. Uh, okay. So give us give us an example of one of these uh, stories in, in, in me and Henry. And Henry is your your Henry's brother. My Older brother. Older brother. Well, one of the fun stories we had in there, see, my dad bought a new car. Mm -hmm. What kind of car was it? Oh, Model T. What year are we talking about? Uh, 20, it's about 1919. 1919. 1919. And we went to show it off to the neighbors. And we went to it over to the neighbors, and he was showing it off there. And he says, Bert, what, what's up here? He says, well, that used, to be a, that used to be a mirror. He says, what'd you do, take that down? He says, yeah. He says, my, my wife will ever run into a horse and buggy or a cow sometime. And he says, well, that's to see if there's somebody coming back. And it really upset my dad. <laughs> And then he said, I'm going to get it back on that old man. So he says, hey, Lawrence, twist your tail. That means crank it up. Yeah. And that's one of the ones he, he, he wanted to tell him about this self-starter. Right. He put the starter on and started right up. And by gosh, he just sat there and laughed and drove off. My dad got one on him that time. Yeah. Right here in the book. Right here in the book. <laughs> yes, sir. Now, do, do, do uh, have, have literary scholars looked at the book? Do oh, they, yeah. And well, how do they evaluate it? They evaluate it's not any good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, they, it's, it's a nice collection of American stories. Yeah, but they said it won't, won't, won't sell. Well, it's doing pretty well. You said you sold 6,000 copies. Yeah. Are you going to write another book? Yeah, I got four more written. Oh, good. You want the art? Now, will you, will you open four separate stores for those? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be a, that's a good question. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Uh, how old are you? I'm 74. 74. Nice to have you here. Good luck with the book. Thank, Thank you very much. Walter Swan. We'll be right back. It's a story about two boys growing up in the old family homestead in Cochise County when Arizona was an infant state. See, I think this is the kind of thing we should take more care in preserving. Mm -hmm, I'm right. looking forward to reading this. Thank nice you. to meet you. Have nice a great summer. Thanks Thank for coming in. Uh, we'll see you Monday night, folks. Have a good weekend.